Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0456 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0456? Well, it's an evaporative emission system leak detected, very small leak. And what does this mean? Well, the EVAP system was created to contain the gas vapors in the gas tank and send them back into the engine to get burnt off. And the onboard computer is just seeing that this system has a leak in it. And the main parts of this system is going to be the purge valve, the charcoal canister, and the lines going between everything and also the gas cap. So if you have a Honda with the P0456 code, the first thing you want to check is go check the gas cap. This is part of the system. When the car is running, the onboard computer, there's got to be a small vacuum in the EVAP system so that the gas vapors go back to the engine and get burnt off. And if this gas cap is not sealing correctly or closed all the way, then it can cause this error. This is very common. So go out, check the gas cap, check out with the seal uh, around the gas cap. Be sure it's good. Be sure there's not blocking it, no debris inside of here. And if it, if it looks good, then it might be something else. But if it looks bad, then you might want to replace it. Just be sure to get a OEM, original gas cap, since third-party ones can sometimes cause issues. So if you do replace it, be sure to get an OEM, original Honda gas cap. And the next thing to check would be the purge valve. And the purge valve will be located up inside of the engine compartment. And it's just a small valve that opens when the engine's running, so the gas vapors go into the engine to get burned off. And then when the engine's off, it, the valve closes so that they can't escape. And so it's just a simple valve. And it'll have like two hoses going to it and a wiring harness. And these commonly go bad. They're, they're usually pretty easy to swap out, low-cost parts. One thing to mention with any of this is be sure to check this wiring harness. Be sure it's plugged in all the way. And uh, you might want to check the wiring for an open or a short. Because anything like that can cause the same symptoms as a bad valve. And check these hoses too as they need to be on there and not leaking. And then next up is going to be the charcoal canister, also called the EVAP canister. And this is usually located up and underneath the car by the gas tank and have like three hoses going to it, although this can vary. So be sure to Google the year of your Honda, but it's, it's usually located up underneath the car by the gas tank. It'll have like three hoses going to it and a wiring harness. And while these are straightforward to change out, they can be a little bit more difficult since it's usually underneath the car. So it's a little bit more of a pain. And so number three is going to be the charcoal canister. And the last thing, to check for is going to be the hoses going to everything because you got these hoses they're going around they're they're going to the charcoal canister they're coming up here to the purge valve they're going around to the gas tank and if any of these hoses get leaks in them then you're going to get you could get this error code so it, what would happen if you took it to a mechanic shop what they do is they, they take a smoke machine they feed it into the evap system and then they look for where the smoke came out and then they know where the leaks at now if you don't have a smoke machine you're just going to have to go around and examine all these connections if there's like a crack in here or something along these lines, then you'll know that it might be leaking there that you might need to replace it. So the last thing on the list is going to be make sure that these hoses aren't leaking anywhere. Go around and visibly check them and be sure that they, they look good and that they're not leaking. So that's basically it. I just want to go over a real quick brief overview of what you could do if you had a Honda with the P0456 code and how you go about fixing it. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.